guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Anastasia. Welcome everybody. In today's video, I want to answer a couple of questions that I get frequently a lot <laughs> on the fabric that I use for my backdrops. When I was choosing fabric, I knew what I was looking for. I chose the fabric based on its feel, how see-through it was, how shiny it was, and how heavy the fabric is because I was looking for something that is heavy when it falls it can pull itself down and create nice and even folds I just that's how I like my fabric to be draped I use a hundred percent polyester I bought this fabric at my local discount fabric store I did ask them if they have a website and if they ship fabric, if you buy it online, they don't. Unfortunately, they don't. And that's kind of sad. You know, because I think a lot of people would love that fabric for their backdrops. So unfortunately, they just don't. I went to the store. I tried so many fabrics until I found the one that I wanted. That place, the discount store, is huge. I'm going to show you a few clips a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. I filled so many fabrics and this one was the best. It wasn't as see-through, it wasn't as stretchy, it wasn't shiny whatsoever. I loved it so much and it has some weight to it so it works perfectly some of the polyester fabrics they are tougher than the others so i was looking for a soft fabric but heavy the only thing that i kind of don't like or didn't like at first about my fabric that it wasn't white i was looking for something that was like almost like snow white super white and i couldn't find anything so i ended up buying my fabric that is not beige and it's not white but it's like off white but when you drape it and you put the up lighting in the back no one can tell if it's white or if it's off white so it works for any wedding perfectly love this fabric so much as i said i use a hundred percent polyester fabric my fabric, um, I bought them on bolts. They do give discounts if you buy a full bolt. Uh, each bolt varies like 24 inches, not 24 inches, 24 yards on one bolt, 19 yards on the other bolt. So whatever bolt you get, if you get the whole thing, they will give you a discount on top of um, the lowest price that they have already on that fabric. So for example, for one of the videos, I bought my uh, chiffon fabric, pink chiffon fabric, and I got the full bolt. I think it was 17 yards. Uh, they, they were charging $1.99 per yard. And just because I bought the whole thing, they gave me a discount. So I paid $1.74 per yard. I think it's an incredible deal for fabric. I can't find any cheaper fabric anywhere. If you do know any websites, places, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to know because that store where I buy my fabric doesn't usually have everything that I need. So I would love to know other places as well. As many fabrics that I encountered, every fabric is basically the same width. My fabric, whatever I buy, they usually come in 66 inches wide and whatever long, you know? So whatever fabric I'm using, 100% polyester fabric strips for every single backdrop that you see on my videos, strips of fabric, they are 66 inches wide. If you have exactly the same backdrop that I do, what was it? Nine by eight feet. Uh, if you have eight feet high backdrop, then I would suggest to have 11 feet fabric strips. Why? Because you would need fabric to drape over your bar and pin it, and you would need fabric to go all the way down to the floor without having a gap between your fabric and the floor. So it would fall on your floor and cover and lay nicely and really pretty. That's how I am, that's how I love it. 
and I will keep doing that. I get asked if uh, uh, why I don't glue or sew my fabric. I don't like doing that because I do use my fabric for different things, for draping nice things on my backdrop, not just hanging it straight. I use them for doors, to cover doors, like drape nice things on the doors. And yeah, I don't sew it just because that's how I am and I don't like to sew and then take those threads again out and then again and then again and then again and again. I'd rather pin my fabric and stay with my pins. So yeah, you guys, really important, when you go to choose your fabric for your backdrop, make sure you know what you're looking for. That will help you tremendously and you will have easier time to find what you need. I do have lots of points over here just to make sure I don't forget anything. If I look down, that's why. Let's talk about backdrops. If you want for your backdrop to be more flowy, and you don't mind for your fabric to be see-through, then you can go with chiffon. Chiffon is heavier than any um, like tool or organza, and it would fall nicely as well. Chiffon would look great. I love working with chiffon. It's beautiful. If you want to make a double uh, backdrop for your event, when you say double, I think of two different things. First of all, double can be two fabrics laid on top of each other. That can be double. Double can be two sets of uh, backdrop frames. So one frame, other frame, and both frames covered with different fabrics. That's what I think of doubles. First, um, when you drape one fabric on top of the other. Uh, of course, you want to use something thicker in the back and something lighter and flowier on top. So if you have 100% polyester fabric, something thicker, something not see-through, then on top you can use chiffon, you can use organza, or you can use tool. Tool is um, like the least expensive fabric from all of the fabrics that I'm listing here. It can be bought anywhere and yeah, it's pretty cheap, especially online. You can find a really, really good deal for a tool fabric. Tool will make your backdrop more fluffier and fuller just because it's not as heavy and it kind of like, you know, bulks up and you make volume with tool. Chiffon has weight to it. It's a, a lot uh, heavier than tool, a lot heavier. And it will fall and will make those nice folds and will give your backdrop a totally different look. Organza is between chiffon and tulle. Organza is a little bit stiffer. Uh, it can make folds like and fold okay, but it's not going to look as nice as chiffon. So keep in mind what you want to do. Uh, what fabrics you want to use, if you want to, uh, for your fabric to look richer, more polished, it all comes to that. Keep those points in your head before you go and look for fabric. For a double, like two frames, I love to use organza, like a softer organza, because there's different types of organza as well. Fabrics are, seriously, you go into fabrics and you can get lost. So many organzas, so many polyesters, and so many other, other, other fabrics. For your both frames, you're something heavier in the back and something lighter up front. One of the weddings that we did, uh, we did a double backdrop, and in between, we had rods, and from the rods, we hang those uh, crystal chandeliers and look really, really nice. Um, and in front, we draped chiffon slash organza, like in between. The fabric is like in between. I don't know what it was. It wasn't mine. It was rented from other people. It was really see-through, but not as super see-through that you can't really see the fabric. So you could see those chandeliers really well. It's very important that you sit down and you think this through. 
I hope this was uh, helpful. I tried to explain as best as I can. And yeah, now I'm going to show you the place where I buy my fabric. And I will show you uh, a couple or a few examples of fabrics that the store has and what I like and what I don't like. Let's jump into it and hopefully you will enjoy this. Hey guys, I'm hiding. <laughs> I have a lot of questions where I buy all of my fabric and I'm about to show you the place where I buy or bought my fabric that I usually drape for weddings and other events. So let me show you. this color look at this and it's $4.99 and if you get a, a whole bolt they will give you more discount so that one bolt is 25 yards 25 there's more so every bolt is different this fabric is amazing for draping it would look so good but I have no idea what this is this is wrong what does that mean I have no idea this fabric is gorgeous what second I have no idea but it's like an off-white and it's not stretch as you can see a little bit a little bit like a tiny bit but it's gonna be gorgeous for draping I have no idea what that is like I have no idea look let me show you a difference this is it's gonna be good too but it's stretchy this one would be okay too this one I have no idea oh my word they all rum. No way, I found what I need to find. And this is so cheap, you guys. $1.99 a yard. Oh, perfect. You guys, I found my fabric. It doesn't say what fabric that is, but it's a polyester and it's $1.76 a yard. And there's 20 yards in one bolt so I can't do the math right now but anyways you guys it's perfect look at this it has just a tiny bit of stretch and it's not as see-through and it's gorgeous I love this fabric look at this you never know what you're gonna have in this store so I'm kind of excited that I found it they have a few bolts here of that fabric but yeah this is my fabric and that's where i got it look at this you guys another fabric it's not a see-through but it will be beautiful for draping beautiful when you're gonna have all those um pleats going on and all the folds it's gonna look beautiful it doesn't have much of a stretch but it's pretty heavy and it's gonna look beautiful when it's draped um this one, on the other hand, is very stretchy. I don't think I would love to use something like this for draping. This one is way too shiny. And yeah, not gonna look good. So keep in mind what you want from your fabric. This is really, really glossy. I don't like those kind of fabrics. And yeah, it looks not good for me. So keep in mind what you want to have for your wedding. This would be fine too. This is kind of glossy but it doesn't have that shine so make sure you know what you want your backdrops to look like and then you can pick your fabrics very shiny stretchy stretchy a little bit but not as shiny so this would be perfect as well and this one fabric is unknown and this one's $1.99 per yard Here's some chiffon for you guys. I love to use chiffon as my second layer if I'm doing double layered chiffon. Here's one more tip for you guys. If you want double, use 
use chiffon or something more see-through and lighter. Um, organza might work, but it's a little bit stiffer than, not a little bit, a lot more stiffer than chiffon. This one is like a interesting, it's like a chiffon, but very, very, very soft chiffon. It might work too. Here I found a fabric. This is exactly the fabric that I use, but this one's only pink. So this is 100% poly polyester. This is a gorgeous and perfect fabric for draping. Love it. This is how I pick my fabric, and this is the place where I bought it. So hopefully it was helpful to you guys. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to help you to the best of my abilities. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're here for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. And I will see you back very soon. Bye-bye.